by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. This sounds bad, but if it had been a game of touch, I think he'd still had that many yards. They literally couldn't get their hands on it. It was like they were trying to tackle a ghost. 29 years ago, Barry Sanders enjoyed probably the finest individual season in college football history and his coming out party came against Tulsa. 304 yards rushing, five touchdowns, as Pat said, like trying to tackle a ghost. And welcome into sports, everybody. Two days from now, OSU and TU face off for the 74th time. They may not be Barry Sanders, nobody is, but both teams feature a thousand yard rusher and both are Tulsa boys. OSU's Justice Hill, a revelation for the Cowboys last fall. The Booker T grad reinvigorated the OSU running game, went for more than 1,100 yards as a freshman. Over at TU, it's Central grad D'Angelo Brewer, ran for more than 1,400 yards last season, and he's hoping to win the duel with Justice Thursday night. Yeah, I've heard about him a lot, you know, as a young kid, just yeah. growing up. Here, you know, you hear a couple guys' names, watch a couple games, and I thought about it, you know, a lot, thinking about, you know, hey, man, this. It's going to be a good competitive game, man, and you know, I had that mental kind of competition with myself. You know, I want to, you know, go out there and, you know, put on for my city like I always say yeah. and just try to have the best game. You take pride in seeing some TPS kids in a yeah. row, but TPS kids Yeah, guys well. like Josh Jacobs is another guy who's at Alabama doing his thing. I watched him since he was younger and I knew the talent he was, so it's good to see a lot of these local guys getting the recognition that they deserve. Got some talent in this city. As for Justice, never considered playing for TU, and there's a good reason for it. Uh, no, nah, actually, they didn't offer me, so it wasn't, it wasn't nothing to turn down. So, uh, it, no hard feeling or anything. I mean, it's just another team I'm ready to play.